Yes, I made 7% in literally two hours in a single trade. I'll show you in this video step by step on how you can achieve the same. And only with the simplest concepts. Nothing very complicated, only liquidity and fair value gaps. That's all you need in order to do the same. I even shared this with the Discord before it happened. And some people were able to make money from this. If anyone is one of our mentorship, check out the description. This is Molham and let's get into this. Okay guys, so what you're seeing in front of you right now is the expectation or how I predicted the market makers by modal and also the trade that I shared in the Discord. It's exactly the same trade that I, I'll be discussing today. Simply, and I was able actually to quote some trades here and another market makers sell model in this case. But what I was seeing here, so simply we are on the Euro USD the four hour. Everything that I'll be discussing today it all relies on liquidity concepts and fair value gaps. Most of the things, maybe sometime I'll mention the market makers buy or sell model. What you need to know the most are the fair value gaps and the liquidity concepts. Now, the first thing that I was seeing here, I was at this point on this day when I took the trade. What I was seeing here is simply that we are in a bullish fair value gap. And as you guys know from my last video about the high probability liquidity sweeps, we can actually find the highest probability liquidity sweeps in fair value gaps when we have a low or high inside of it. So when we have a low or high inside of fair value gap, that's a very high probability liquidity sweep. And as you can see, what we had here is this low that is inside of the fair value gap. Did we get a sweep here? No. But then that's a sweep and price started going up. Now what happened again? That's what I was seeing here from this fair value gap, right? We are in a still bullish fair value gap and we created this low and then we also had another low to almost equal lows and we are in a bullish fair value gap now sometime and this is you know something that not a lot of people are aware of is we could be actually creating for example in this case we're creating market maker sell model so we are going up smart vendor reversal coming lower right this is the uh, end of the market maker sell model. When we are coming here, we created an original consolidation and then price with this original consolidation from here coming lower. And now we have a smart money reversal here targeting what? Now we went from a market maker's sell model into a buy model. And we can actually go here, target this original consolidation here, or maybe sometime this original consolidation here. So it depends on the scenario and uh, on the price action itself so basically i was seeing this uh, we can see that we had those equal lows here equal lows inside of a bullish fair value gap so in kill zone if i see price coming below this level i would be actually looking for price to um, reverse from here from this level if they can now going to the 50 minutes what i was seeing here is uh, price coming lower creating those equal lows and now we have the agent session here. So agent session is starting on the agent session and also in the 15 minutes, we can see that those are very clear equal lows and price was actually being bearish here. So you might be finally seeing a bullish move to the upside. I'm not gonna be entering any trade until there is a sweep below this low. So when those equal lows are swept, I'll be entering and I'll show you the exact process that I went through on the lower time frame. So Basically, price was starting to go lower into where? Into those equal lows. And we have a fair value gap below, as I said. Now, what was happening here, if you guys notice, price is literally going lower. Now, we could take any fair value gap from those. You see, uh, fair value gap here, mitigated another fair value gap here. You could have entered from this one or this one. Why? Because we have a clear draw in liquidity. Now, I did not take this one. Why? Because the lending kill zone did not start. Now it's starting. Now I went to the one minute, right? I was on the one minute and I was waiting for a sweep of this level. And then I'd be looking for either a fair value gap to enter from. So price is coming lower, lower, lower. We got the sweep, right? And then price going up. I'll be looking for a fair value gap for price to come back to, or I'd be entering, or when there was a change instead of delivery. So you see how price was coming lower and then suddenly going up, creating an order block here. I'd be entering on this candle. Those are two possible uh, entries from here. Now, now you do whatever you prefer. You follow your system. 
But you see, Lende kill zone started here, waiting for that level to be taken. And you see, level is taken. You could also use this as an inverse fair value gap entry, only if price closed above it with a candle, I'd be entering, but that was not my entry. I was waiting for a change in state delivery. So price is coming lower. You see, no change in state delivery. And then suddenly, price actually closed a bullish candle that engulfed the previous one. And in the future, this would be, that's how I see it, right? This is my way of trading. This is in the future is a order block. This is an order block. And what I've done here is simply entering on the bullish candle, this engulfing candle, because there is a change in the state delivery when there is a liquidity sweep. So that's what I've done. Entry here for the stop loss. What I used to do before, and I used to be, or, you know, I used to get stopped out a lot. What I used to do is putting my stop loss below the low or just give it some room for price to breathe, right? What I've done here on this case, and I'm starting to do this um, since a week using this ATR stop loss indicator. I mean, you could use the, uh, the ATR one, the original one, but this one is more dynamic, right? So it's telling me at this point, I'll just put my stop loss below the ATR. That's all I'm going to do. And now simply looking at this, right? And I'm going to disable the ATR because the only thing that I'll do with this ATR is when I enter a trade, enable it, look at the level for my stop loss there, and that's it. And maybe I'll do a separate video about the ATR because it saved me from being stopped out a lot of the times because sometime you'll have another sweep to the lower side, another sweep, and then go up. But the ATR will save you. And you can actually see this happening on this case too. Now, what do I target? I mean, you could, uh, you could target some equal highs, some highs in a fair value gaps like this, but I was aiming for high reward to risk on this trade. And I was aiming for 7R. And why? Because if we go to the 15 minutes, right? Simply, what I was seeing here is this agent session, we're coming lower, we're creating here the sell side of the curve. We're creating the sell side of the curve, and we can see that we have an original consolidation, which is also the agent high. So agent range here, price is simply coming lower. At the start of the Linda kill zone, there is a potential of price reversing now because it's been trending a lot, and we took a main level into a fair value gap. What I was seeing here is market makers buy model in this case, and I was waiting for the small money reversal. Now, why targeting this Asian high? Because if you go to the lower time frame, either one minute, three minutes, we can actually see that this is a valid original consolidation. And why? This one here is my original consolidation. Why? Because it has low resistance liquidity. So a high and then lower high, lower high lower high so basically trend line liquidity low resistance liquidity that's how you make money there is liquidity here there is more liquidity here more liquidity here and, and much more as you go down because those highs are not taken so basically we have this original consolidation with a failure swing inside of it it would be a very nice level to target so you see as we're going up this is a seven to one trade seven to one and even when price you know if we play the price action here you can see first, and those are the lessons that are learned from this trade, that the ATR saved us from being stopped out. So if you see prices coming lower, there is another sweep. That's what I was afraid of, and that's what I was losing because of when I was using you know, no ATR. But now it saved me a lot. And you see another sweep to the lower side, but because we put our stop loss at here on the ATR, value then we did not get stopped out and as you can see price is going up and by the way on the one minute we had a very nice entry of the fair value gap so if you can see we took this liquidity level and we went up we created a fair value gap this fair value gap could be entered from so instead of entering from here you could have entered where from the fair value gap and that's going to give you a better reward to risk even better you see eight to one instead of seven to one now, what I've done is simply entering from the change in state delivery. I'm going to put it on the five minutes and show you what happened after. Simply, price was going up aggressively because we had those failure swings all the way up. As you can see, price is going up, going up immediately to where? To the agent high right here. This is the original consolidation of the market makers buy model. You can see going up on the lower time frame, you had an entry uh, using a fair value gap. And here, what happened, and this would be, you know, another video. That's how I was actually 
telling people that do not be scared that price did not hit the take profit and price started to go lower even on the lower time frame like you see on the one minute it was a pullback here and a lot of people were like oh my god we're going lower but i told everyone that this one right here is a fake market shift and i would have a you know a different video about this it's one of the most important concepts in smc a lot of the smc or ICT traders they think they are trading smart money concepts but they are being trapped also in a specific liquidity level that those people get trapped in so i was actually telling people here and i could show you that this is a fake market structure shift do not be worried and stay solid target the agent high because this is your liquidity level this is your main drawn liquidity right now price started going lower respecting this fair value gap taking this low in a fair value gap and then going to where to the agent high there you go now what happened after is simply price going up all the way to where you see price kept going up even on the new york it kept going up all the way here and this was a one hour fair value gap i guess so instead of making seven rr i was actually you know it was possible to make 15 r instead but you know we don't talk about this a lot this was my target after this i don't care i don't care what happened after because for example on this trade i did not target this low but i think i went out on the asian low so instead of making it was 12 r i only made 4 r and i'm good with this because you don't know every time where the market is gonna go and you see this trade right here exactly the same thing the same thing as we've done here we've done it here and you could have you know you were able to make 15 hours from this trade another trade it's always the same in this trade what happened is price going up and i could see this as the buy side of the curve and we reached this pd array on the four hour and we got the small money reversal and i was actually spotting this also in the discord i told everyone that this would be the high then price started going lower and created what the sell side of the curve that's how i was able to make seven percent in two hours literally two hours following only what per value gaps and liquidity that's all you need a lot of people you know complicate stuff thinking that the more complicated the thing is you're going to be more profitable you're going to be you know your master of thing but the reality is much different because if you complicate stuff maybe you're going to find those on the back testing or maybe or maybe you could look at an example and said okay this is my setup it's a perfect setup but in real life and a real trading you're not going to find this and that's the problem with people maybe looking at the back this thing and looking for something that is so specific and it doesn't happen often and the problem with this is also you're going to be forcing trades so that's why i want you to be satisfied with the basics because i could make seven percent here using the basics and i could be making actually much more but this is what i was satisfied with hopefully you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and share this video with your friends who are maybe complicating stuff and not being satisfied with the basics this is Molham and I will see you in the next video.